Hey guys, it's Lilith. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by today's title, today is a spooky haul of all the things that I got during spooky season. I count both September and October as spooky season. I'm not gonna lie, I also consider August to be spooky season. But I got dressed up in spooky clothes. You can't see it, but I'm wearing pants that have like ghosts and witches on them, but I'm too lazy to raise my legs. If posting goes according to plan, this will either come up on Halloween or a week after Halloween. Either way, happy Halloween. <laughs> I love Halloween, it's my favorite holiday, my favorite time of year, I thrive during spooky season, and I always get the coolest stuff during spooky season, so I wanted to share that haul with you guys today. There's a lot of stuff, this may be long, but I'm going to try to see if I can remember where all of these things are from. I haven't the faintest idea how much they are, so you'll just have to see if you can find them on the websites that I got them from the stores from. Alright, it's going to be a long video, so let's go ahead and get into it. First thing on the list is actually behind me. This wall hanging is from Michaels. I have always loved the Halloween stuff from Michaels. I've gotten some really great stuff from there before, like jars and boxes. I have a leather, uh, I don't know what to call it. It's not a paperweight, but it's like, it looks like fake books with a skull on top of it. But I fell in love with this wall hanging, had to have it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I can't tell if that's a crow or a raven, but I choose to believe it's a raven. So this is from Michaels Craft Store. I have no idea how much it was. I love that it fits perfectly in this space between my dresser and my bookshelf. I hated the blank space on this wall, so I feel so much better about it now. Next up are my Haunted Mansion socks. This actually came in a pack of five and I can't show you all five because three pairs are in the laundry right now because I've already worn them. I believe the other pairs were green and gray and purple. I'm not swearing to that. But they came in a five pack. This is what's on the white pair. It just says Haunted Mansion on it with a little skull. And this is the blue pair and it has a ghost on it. Now I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I did not want these because of the Haunted Mansion ride. I know pretty much nothing about the actual Haunted Mansion ride, but when I was a kid, the Haunted Mansion movie was one of my absolute favorites. And it's still one of my absolute favorites. I actually just watched it for spooky season not that long ago with my sister and ironically enough it's on my list of things that I got for spooky season. Ignore the half price book sticker, I can't get it off. But I didn't have this on DVD before and my mom was nice enough to get it for me when she got a copy for herself. So now I also have Haunted Mansion on DVD. By the way I forgot to say the socks in the five pack, I don't know if I remembered, are from Spirit Halloween. And then the DVD is from half price books but I'm sure you can get it anywhere that sells DVDs. Up next is my jack-o'-lantern pumpkin box, whatever you want to call it. This box is from Michaels. I keep all of my immediate like bedside electronic stuff in here. So this has the remote to my radio, my television, my fire stick. I keep my phone case in here when I'm charging my phone or when I'm filming. There's also nail polish, my earbuds, my earbud chargers, stuff like that. It's a really good size to keep on my bedside table. It's really cute, sleek. I love black. They had an orange one but I just, I, I preferred the black one. Next up is my vampire blood candle. I love the top here and the little like holographic bats. It's so cute, it's red. I think I've only burned this once since I got it because I've been obsessed with an old pumpkin candle that I have. This is from Bath and Body Works. I really love this smell. It's really like, like fruity. I expected it to smell more like a dragon's blood smell because I have an incense that's called vampire's blood and it just smells like dragon's blood. But this is really nice and fruity and I love the smell of fruity candles, especially when it's really cold outside because there's something about the cold environment and then like the fruity smell makes the air really crisp. I don't know. But I also just love the top of this candle and I think it's so pretty. Also from Bath and Body Works, gotten the same day as the candle, is this candle holder that has golden spiders and spider webs all over it. Made of like a metal tin sort of thing. Oh, this is the only one that has a price on it. This was $24.95. I didn't realize this sticker was still here. Let me get that off there. But I just thought this was so cute. I'm not usually a person who likes gold. I really prefer silver, but this called to me. It was so cute. I just couldn't help myself. The only bad thing is it tends to fit regular Bath & Body Works candles, but this one's a little short. When I put it in here, the top doesn't want to go all the way on, 
but when I put my pumpkin candle that's from the same store that's also three wick, the top stays on. This is like, it's a little too short and it catches on the metal. That's the only bad part. Another candle thing, but it's not from Bath & Body Works. I also have no idea where it's from. It was a gift from my mother. These are bleeding candles. It's just white wax on the outside and then red on the inside. I tried to burn these, but apparently my uh, taper candle holder is a little too small for these. They fit all my other ones, but not these. It says it was $2.98 wherever they're from. I think she said she got these from a dollar store or a craft store of some sort. But basically when you burn these, the wax will drip red and it looks like the candles are bleeding. Next up in the haul, this is my pumpkin squish. It's my very first Squishmallow ever. I'm not really a Squishmallow person. I don't really care about Squishmallows. But when I found out that there were Halloween Squishmallows, I knew I had to have this one. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't remember where this is from. I'm like 98% sure that I got this from a Meyer grocery store, but then they didn't have these again like two weeks later when I went to look for more. So don't quote me on that. This is also a little like smaller than the other squishes I have, which are in this haul. Um, and so I don't know if this is like a small one or anything. I don't know about squishes, but it's so cute and I love it. It's my very first Squishmallow. My next Squishmallow that I got and I was on the hunt for it for weeks. I got Jack Skellington. As you can tell by the shirt, I love Nightmare Before Christmas. I wanted Jack so much. I was on the hunt for him for half of September and most of October. And then my sister randomly found him at, I believe it was a Kroger. I had been hitting up every Kroger and Walmart in my city and could not find him or Sally or Oogie Boogie anywhere. My mom couldn't even find him. So I was just, I was thought I was just gonna have to get him on Amazon, but then my sister found him and I was so excited. And then about a week later at the same Kroger, my sister found Sally. I love Sally. I kind of favor the Sally one, even though the Jack one is the one I was looking for the most, but there's just something about Sally I really love. They're so squishy. These are the only three Squishmallows I have. The only other one that I was on the lookout for was one that I think looked like a big gray bat with tiny wings, but that was really it. I don't really have an interest in any other Squishmallow other than the spoopy ones, but I love these. These are so cute. So some more stuff that was gotten at a Meyer were coasters. Now I have never liked coasters. I have never been a coaster person. I used to make fun of people that used coasters because I'm an ass. But I decided I needed coasters, which is how these came into play because they're spooky coasters. This one is covered in little ghosts. This is a black one that says trick or treat. And this is a pumpkin face. The jack-o'-lantern one I love to use with uh, something that I'm gonna show here in a minute in this haul. Uh, but I love all of these. The ghost one was the one I got first. It's the one I've used the most. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got coffee stains on it already. Um, I need to wash it, but I love these and I use them daily now and I refuse to not use them because I'm tired of cleaning water off of my bedside table from condensation. Next up, this is also from Meyer. This is a spiderweb soup mug. A lot of things in this haul are gonna be from Meyer because that's where I do my regular grocery shopping. The irony that this is a soup mug and I don't often eat soup, so it's instead filled with three musketeers. <laughs> But I do love this. I eat soup when I'm sick and this is also, I think would be good for like small amounts of like macaroni and cheese and stuff like that. Plus I love that there's a little thing on the lid here. It's hard to see, but it's got like a date thing on it where you can put in the date so you know how long whatever's been in your fridge has been in there. There was a whole cup set at Meyer that was like the stackable mugs in the mug thing. The mug thing. I'm so articulate. Basically it was like a mug rack with like stacked that looked like this, except they were regular size mugs. I really wanted that, but I've got nowhere to put it. But so this is my soup mug that holds my candy. <laughs> Speaking of things that hold my candy, this is my pumpkin jar. I'm pretty sure this was also from Meyer. Yeah, it looks like it's supposed to hold sugar or flour or coffee. Ah! It snapped my widow finger. Every time I open this, I end up getting snapped because it opens so aggressively. Um, it's supposed to hold those things, but it holds my Twix and my singular lollipop. It's also a little difficult to get it on here. That's the only bad part. Like you can't just like pull, like it's, I have to like physically hold it in place with my other hand to get it down. And even then it doesn't want to get down. I have to hold it down with my right hand because my left hand has a previous injury and I'm still trying to get back into physical therapy for it. But this is from Meyer and it holds my Twix. <laughs> okay, so the two things I'm about to show you are like the cutest things in this entire haul. First off, they're both from Meyer. 
This is my skull mini waffle maker. And this is my spider web mini waffle maker. My sister got one for herself that's orange and makes waffles in the shape of pumpkins. I had originally seen all three of them in an Instagram post that was like a fall aesthetic thing and someone was making cinnamon rolls with them. I decided it was my mission in life to find these. I have yet to actually make waffles with either of these waffle makers, but I've made cinnamon rolls with both of them. I love cinnamon rolls and it makes the house smell really good. So they end up coming out like this if you make waffles, but it looks pretty much the same if you use cinnamon rolls, but both of them are from Meyer, but it is from a brand, I think it's called just like Dash, I think. Dash or Dash D, something like that. They have a thing, it's uh, on here, it says buy dash.com. Um, and I did find these online before I found them in stores, but I fell in love with them. I love making cinnamon rolls with these. I'm gonna make waffles and see if I can make pancakes with these too. I don't have the straw in this for right now, but this is my witchy tumbler cup. It says local witch on it. This was gotten at Spencer's in the mall. It's matte black. There's nothing on the other side, just this one, but I love it. And then this tumbler, which also doesn't have its straw in there, that says trick or treat yourself with a jack-o'-lantern face on it. It's actually metal. I don't know why I keep doing like ASMR taps. I've been watching ASMR to go to sleep lately and I'm like, I can do this. But this was gotten at Meyer. So just like the tumbler cup that I showed first, this wine glass that it's kind of hard to see, but has, oh, there you go, that's a little laser. Uh, that has like tree branches and ravens on it. This is from Spencer's. I love this. It's very goth, very like Edgar Allan Poe vibes. I just watched The Raven with my best friend the other day and I was like, you know, I watched it for Luke Evans, but also, you know, I'm quite sure this was also from Spencer's and that I got it from the same trip as the black tumbler. This is my Haunted Mansion wine glass. I love the print on this, it looks kind of like damask wallpaper. Isn't that so pretty? Another find from Spencer's because I'm insane and I love Spencer's and they have the coolest stuff. This is my ghost face mug. Anybody who knows me knows I don't really watch a lot of horror movies. I have really bad anxiety and horror movies tend to like squeak me out a lot, but I love the Scream movies. I love ghost face. I actually even have a blanket that has ghost face on it and I have a ghost face backpack. I love the Scream movies so much. Also, anybody who follows my uh, book talk account knows that I read the books by Molly Doyle, Scream For Us and Melt For Us, that have a character that wears a ghost face mask the whole time. If you like uh, dark romance, that's a way to go. I believe the full book comes out at the end of this month. It'll probably come out the day this video goes up. But I love this mug. It's smaller than my other mugs, but sometimes I just want like a small cup of coffee because I have places to go and I don't have time to finish the whole thing. So this is my ghost face mug. And not to be confused with my ghost face mug, this is my ghost mug. Isn't he beautiful? That was organic. I thought that was funny. Laugh, please. I believe this guy is also from Meyer, but I've also seen ones pretty similar to this at Walmart, I think, and Kroger. He's got the little arms. I just think this is so cute. I saw pictures and videos of different ghost mugs, like I think for like a month before I found this one. And I just loved them and I thought they were so cute and I really, really wanted one. So I'm so happy that I do now. All right, up next, this guy is from Kroger. This is my jack-o'-lantern mug. This is the one that I love to use with my pumpkin coaster. It's really big actually. The bottom does not say how many ounces it is. But it's pretty sizable. The only thing that's bad is the handle's a little small. I can only hold it with like two fingers. But it's pretty spacious inside and I love this. I think it's actually currently my favorite mug. And then the biggest mug that I got all spooky season is from Spirit Halloween. This is my Corpse Bride mug. The other side says there's been a grave misunderstanding. This one also has a sticker on it. This was $9.99. But like I said, this is from Spirit Halloween. This is the biggest mug I got. Like it's pretty big. Like I can fit my entire hand in here. And it's got a more spacious handle on it. I love Corpse Bride, even though the movie is kind of sad. It's one of my favorite Tim Burton films. I love the art style. I love Emily as a character. And I just fell in love with it. This was actually a present for my birthday, which falls in spooky season because it's the end of September. So this was actually a present from my parents. And then another one from Spirit Halloween. This is my Haunted Mansion throw pillow. My sister spotted this, immediately decided I had to have it. The other side is just black. The tags are a bit much, they're a bit large and there's a lot of them, which can be annoying when you're sleeping uh, because I don't have a couch. And I know this is supposed to be a couch pillow, but I got it from my bed. My sister spotted it and got it for me. 
and I, I just love it. Isn't it so cute? Like I said, I, maybe it's a little blasphemous that I don't know anything about the Haunted Mansion ride, but the Haunted Mansion movie was one of my favorite movies as a child. I heard about the remake. I'm excited to see it because Jamie Lee Curtis is going to be in it. I think that one's based more on the ride. But isn't this the cutest pillow? This next one, I don't know where it's from. It was a birthday present from my sister and it's a little Grim Reaper plushie. I have a plushie that she got me a couple of years ago, like right after, I wanna say it was right after the start of 2021, something like that, like spring of that area. She got me one that's about this size that looks like a plague doctor. I'm sure everyone's already seen that online by now. There's the plague doctor and the plague nurse. I'm not really that into the plague nurse one because it's more like white and pink and that's not really my thing, but the plague doctor is gray and black. And then this little Grim Reaper guy is gray and he's so cute. They're about the same size. Maybe a, he's a little smaller, but it kind of looks like his son. Okay, I keep this on my bookshelf on top of my Twilight box set. I dropped my Bobby Singer pop doll trying to grab this. But this is just a tin box that says October 31st on it. I keep bookmarks inside. I don't really have a lot of bookmarks. Um, I have one in a book I'm reading with my sister right now. And then a custom bookmark that I got uh, that has a quote from the book Credence by Penelope Douglas on it. The book itself has a lot of issues and is very problematic. But I fell in love with Jake Vanderberg because why not? And it has my favorite quote from him in the book that says, you are beautiful and pulling my body away from yours was the most pain I've ever been in. I had to get this, my best friend has the same one. I want to get more uh, book talk bookmarks and keep them in here. So I keep this on my bookshelf and this is where I keep my bookmarks. And then what I'm pretty sure is the last thing on this list, the is also the last thing from Meyer, is this skull bowl plastic. The skulls are in different shapes on the sides. The inside is black, the outside's just white. I love this. This is a really good size bowl. You can put pretty much anything in here. It's just good for ramen, cereal. If you don't feel like using the soup mug, this could be a soup bowl. If I had my own home, I would have gotten a set of like five of these, but unfortunately I do not. So I just got the one. And I think that's everything that I got for spooky season. To be fair, there's still a little bit more of spooky season to go, actually two weeks. As of me filming this right now, it's October 17th, but this, if, if, if I can get this posted on time when I want to get this posted, then this will get posted the day of Halloween. So I might get more spooky stuff between now and then, but I don't really think I'm going to. I'm gonna be going and staying in a hotel with a friend for a couple of days and then spending some time with my sister after that. I think it'll be like the one weekend we don't go out of the house since we usually go out every weekend. I did get some books that are like spooky season books when really they're just like dark romance books that I got to read during October, September time. But I didn't wanna show those cause they're not necessarily like spooky haul type things but I did get some spooky season books. And I think that's the end of this video. I'm sorry if it was super long, but I hope that you enjoyed the haul, question mark. If you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, hit the big red subscribe button and join the spooky family. If you are not following me on my other social media, please check them out in the links below. I have a regular TikTok that is mostly shifting and POVs and Harry Potter and Marvel content. My backup account is all book talk. I have an account that is dedicated straight to my business that I run with my mother, my Instagram, my Twitter. And then of course, please, please, please check out my small business link below and maybe consider buying some jewelry or spell jars for me and my mom's small business. I think that's about all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the haul and I hope that you're having a wonderful Halloween. Bye.